I got eyes on them. Ku Klux Klan. Smile for the camera. <gasps> whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. What? Uh, not again. Uh, it seems that I am always late to the party. Every single time. Now, why is that? Why is that? As some of you may not have known, I've been out of town for the past week, so I'm a little bit behind on schedule. But better late than never, because we got a fun game today that no one has played yet at all. And the game we're playing today is called Fierce to Phantom Iron Bark Lookout. Now this one looks like a doozy, I'm telling you what. This is based off a true story. So, so far, we played this one. Not this one, I watched this one. We played this one. And now this one, and it's gonna be about a two-hour playthrough, so I'm really excited for this. I do not know why I'm holding this, I just get a little excited, I need to grasp something. Fears to Phantom, Episode 4, Ironbark Lookout, May 12th, I'm very excited. So yeah, guys, it doesn't really matter what order you start these games, they're all based on true stories. Hey, I noticed you were requesting story submissions while I was watching a YouTuber play Fears to Phantom, Carson's House. What I'm about to recount happened when I was 24 or so at the time. It feels kind of weird telling anyone about this because of the bizarre and absurd nature of the whole thing, but I feel like doing so might help me process my memories of it. I knew that sharing the story anywhere else would be a dumb idea because people would say I was lying. As I'm writing this, this was the scariest experience of my life. I'm Jack Nelson. I had a small job as a park ranger in the state park. I was a fire lookout station in one of the largest forests in the Pacific Northwest. Miles and miles of dense forest managed by the forestry services. I had a salary that allowed me to make ends meet but I couldn't afford to treat myself to restaurants, nice clothes, etc. My biggest accomplishment so far was being able to buy an RV for myself with a lot of financial help from my dad. Okay, so you had help from your dad, was what you're saying. That RV was the only sense of home I had at the time. This one time I was transferred from one outpost to the other because of some official circumstances. It was a minor inconvenience to me though, since I lived out of my RV and liked traveling. I said a few goodbyes and I was off to a new location. It was about a two hour drive. All right. Getting quite the eerie vibe going into this. So his name is Jack Nelson. He's a good boy. He likes to be on his own. Oh, awesome. Yep, I love that. All right, we got in. Ooh, was that to drive? So this is my RV. It's kind of swagalicious. All right, press forward to drive. Here we go, boys. Ooh. Oh, okay. Here we go. I had this girl sucking on my tat, it was so pretty. I like milk in my eyes, nitty gritty. Brushing my teeth with a little salt. I don't know what to say anymore. My rhymes suck. <laughs> I lived a very solitary life. It helps quiet my mind, keep the memories at bay. I can see that. Wait, the quality looks like shit. Okay, I can't change it, I guess. We got some text, but I'm not gonna read that now because it's a bit dangerous on the road. What happens if I try to commit intentional homicide on this trucker? Oh! Oh! I should have taken it easy. All right, that didn't work, but it was worth a try. Oh, yeah. I live alone out here, but I've always loved the great outdoors. Love seeing all the bears and the scat. Just being surrounded by nature gives me happiness. All right, I'm done freestyling. Let's just focus on the road. I felt like I was at home in these woods. Yes. Kayla, can you stop texting me? I'm driving, goddammit. I'm not trying to freaking crash and kill somebody. Yeah, so live a nice, lonely life out here. Holy f shit! I'm in the mood. <laughs> this is going very well, guys. Please do not use my driving as an example. You know, I, I like driving. That's just me. I don't know about you guys, but I like a nice, long drive. You know, you got your hand on your pants, you're feeling your crotch, and it just feels good. Not really paying attention. I saw the diner Kayla was talking about. Yeah, so I want to go in and get a snack. I wasn't proud of my driving, but I got to point A to point P pretty easily. Oh, so I can pick this up. Can I just throw it anywhere? I'm gonna leave this here. So let's check everything out. What is this? We got a toilet here. Very nice. Okay, this is a pretty pimped out RV. I'm not gonna lie. Looks nice in here. Let's go into the diner. Have a nice delicious lunch. Hello, sir. What are you doing out here? Hello? Oh. You got quite the delicate mouth on ya. 
How's that burger? Oh, this little piece of heaven? This place is pretty much my weekend spot. Yep, okay, you new around here? Yeah, I'm just uh, a new staffer at the Ironbark State Park. You must have heard the news then. What do you What do you mean, what news? Well, a few weeks ago, three kids were missing in that park. It's been all, all over the news. What happened to them? Did you eat them? Their delicate meats? No one knows. Official report says they got lost, but a lot of people around here think something else happened. Something else. There's a rumor going around that there is a creature that got them. Yeah, you know, like Bigfoot or Goat Man. People say there's something like that living in the forest. All right, you know, what? I'm gonna get out of here. You literally sound like you're fucking making love to that cheeseburger. I mean, I don't blame you. Oh God, I parked this puppy really nice and good. Shut my door. No one goes in there for, I don't know. I'd want to go in here too. Look at this. It's nice in there. Okay, so we're at the diner's tasty food inside. Sounds like I literally just left my RV running, but it's all right. All right, so Jack Nelson. What's up, sir? Okay, I'll leave you alone. Sorry. I'm just trying to make friends in the area. Hey, you look a little lost. I'm just a little tired, sir. This place has some great coffee if you're in the mood for one. As you can see, I usually go for a vanilla latte. Okay, well, that's none of your business. Guess not. All right, sir. It looks like a lot of yummy foods here. Why do you have a shovel? Welcome to the Twin River Diner. How are you doing? Uh, not too bad. Feel free to take a seat. Any seat you like, and I'll be right there with you. All right, sounds good. Thank you, Shelly. Did I talk to this guy? Hey, uh, pretty long day at work, huh? Huh? He just stared at me. Hmm, this man's suspicious. Let's talk to him again. Do you mind if I join ya? He won't even say anything. Is he gonna stab me? How's your food? Look, I'm on to you. You got quite the kit to just to be in here, chilling out. Okay. Well, can I sit here? Yeah, I'm gonna stand right here. Good evening, I'm Barbara. Are you ready for the order? Yes, I am, Barbara. Even though you didn't give me a chance to look at the goddamn menu. What would you like? What can I get for you? Cheeseburger with fries, grilled cheese sandwich with onion rings. I do not like onion rings. Or meatball sub with chicken nugs. I'll take a cheeseburger, like the man outside. Seemed like you, it was very delicious. Ah, a burger is the best in the West. Would you like anything to dream? Drink? I cannot talk today. I fucking, I don't know. Give me your finest strawberry slush. And I want you to spit in it. Now, that'll be all. Thank you very much. Great, I'll bring the food out to you as soon as it's done. Just let me know if you if you need anything else. Sounds great. Appreciate it, Barbara. Or Shelly, if that's your real name. Why does that have this habit of peeing before eating? Okay. So, do you want to go tinkle? It's like saying, I always have a habit of queefing on my burger before I eat. Okay, so, bathroom here. I really had to pee. Well, thank you, Dora, for jamming on my foot. Let's go pee. Here we go. Perfect. Right into the cylinder. Oops, I spilled. Oh. Ooh. God, that's what happens when you're doing two monsters on the road. Turn into a piss magnet, and then you want to fucking beat the shit out of somebody. That's how I feel. All right, that felt great. Can we go again? I was done with that. Ah! Hey, clean up on aisle four, am I right? Just peed all over the floor. All right, let's sit down. Was I here? I don't remember. All right, Shelly, any time now, I'm a fucking ravenous beast. So I'd like to eat my food. Come on, chop chop. I'm not gonna tip you if you don't get out here in time. Come on, put it right here. God, that actually looks quite delicious. I'm a ravenous beast. Thank you, Shelly. Okay. I would love if you just said, enjoy your meal or something. Okay, so we get, they gave us three sauces. So we got mayo, ketchup, and mustard. Exquisite. Ooh. I love just my floating fries. Oh, I figured it would be a while before I had a meal like this again. Hey, thanks, baby. Looking quite sexy. Especially after the slush. I might have to give you a kiss on the neck. Delicious meal before I got into the ravenous woods and... Someone's gonna massacre me. Oh, maybe I should read my text for once. I got a lot of text. Holy crap. Okay, let's go to the top. We're gonna go down one by one. Mitchka, congrats on the transfer. Feeling ready for a change? Just reaching out to you to tell you that you've been assigned to Tower 11. Okay, so this must be my boss. Welcome on a... Okay, you know what? We'll just wait. Because I guess Kayla's gonna keep texting me. Ah, let's just eat the burger. I'll be reading and get reset every time. That's my one gripe with the game. 
Every time you get a text, it goes back down. Oh, what an excellent mail. Shelly! Hey, be careful in there. I peed all over the floor. Let's get up. Oh, we can't get up. Damn it. Want to investigate. You enjoy the food? Yeah, it was excellent with your craftsmanship on the burger. Would you like anything else or the check? I'll just take the check, Barbara. Okay, I'll be right back. Thank you. Can't get up. Damn it. Give me an eye on that shovel, man. Still eating. Told you, he he he. Um, did she remind me? It's a good meal. Very interesting. Got the check, baby girl? Okay, here's the check. That's seven dollars. That is cheap. You know what? I'll give you a good tip. That wasn't that much. Here you go. I make a lot of money, so. Thanks for your generous tip. Yeah. You're welcome. Appreciate you. You were so quick. Let me nestle you on the neck. You did so great ha craftsmanship on the burger. <sighs> Please take a seat. Wait, do you suffer from long-term memory loss? Did you point me to the restroom? Oh, okay, thank you. Thanks, Barbara. Wait. <gasps> He's gone! Did he leave any evidence behind? Any fecal matter I can take? No, he didn't. Could have grabbed some of his DNA, but I think we're good. Thank you, diner. It was an excellent meal. I'll be on my way. See you later, alligator. I'm gonna steal your bag. Just kidding. I can't. What a darn shame. Oh, the city. It's so beautiful. Oh, God. You can smell that oaky afterbirth out here. It smells very good. All right, let's get out of here. Love how my freaking car is parked right in the handicap. Hopefully, I didn't get ticketed. Didn't I shut the door? What the fuck? Hello? Oh, I do not like this. Is anyone in here? The bathroom door. Oh my god, dude. The bathroom door was strangely jammed. Yeah, how convenient. Someone's definitely in my freaking door. Alright, fucking shovel man. I'll fucking shove that shovel down your urethra. Alright, let's go. Back it up. Wait, can I run that guy over? I'm gonna run him over for not keeping good watch in my place. Hope you're enjoying that Big Mac. Ah! Guess I can't commit homicide. Ah. Uh, feeling nice and full. My name is Joe. Catch me on the freeway. I'm getting roadhead. Nothing like that. Fucking kill you, you stupid car. Bitch ass butt. Boy, I have an aneurysm in my head because I can't be spitting. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! Never put me on a mic ever again. 8.02 p.m., so I think I'm arriving to my outpost. No one is behind me going to aggressively fondle me. Oh, this road's a little bit tinier now. God, I wish I had a little bit of nicotine in my system. I should shove one of those pouches up my butt. I want to include the location of this park. You want it to. I don't want anyone seeking out the utter horrors I've seen in these woods. Ooh. Thank you, Jack Nelson. You've saved me a trip. I was about to... I was about to go there myself. All right. Perfect. Now I can leave. Okay. Can I, I can't take my stuff. Yeah, I'll just leave my stuff in there. All right. I love my job. Especially being out in these thick woods. Hello? What does this say? Missing. I love it. Stay on the trail. All right. Do not block the gate. Sounds good, baby. I will do that. <laughs> oh, my! What are you looking at, pedo stash? Holy moly, you scared me. I thought you were one of them. One of who? Ah, oh, Lord have mercy. Why do you have a gun right in my chest plate? Anyways, can I see your permit, please? Uh... I'm not a camper, dude. I'm the new transferred fire lookout guy. Is that correct? I didn't know we were hiring this season. Okay. Hang on. Let me check. Wait, what the fuck is that? Dude, you are the worst out outpost man in the world. Yeah, please check on it, dude. Fucking should strangle you. He says shit. Did you figure it out? Shut the door. I just saw a creepy man outside. 
Man if I have a beverage? Oh, hi. Why do you have four nipples? Okay, pal, you're good to go. You're staffed at the fire station 11. Why do I not say anything? I apologize for the confusion. I was under the impression that the tower would be left unstaffed for the season, but here are your keys. Why would it be left unstaffed? Let me open the trail gate for you. Thank you, sir. Do I get to drive there, or do I have to... F okay. I guess you can just do that. That's fine. Please tell me I get to drive. Do I have to walk? Since you're arriving this late, you might also need the flashlight for the long hike for your lookout. Yeah, thank you, Billy. But be careful. Take this. Can I take a gun? Welcome to Ironbark, pal. Now, for our purposes. When you get to your tower- Oh my god, that's a- When you get to your tower, be sure to make your first weather report from your system. Just so we know you clocked in safely. If you need me- If need be, you can reach out to Tower 12 during your staffing. Nice enough guy. Alright, he'll be your closest contact in case of emergency. Thank you, Billy. I love you. So I can throw- Oh! Sorry. Hey! Just got a piece of advice. Don't travel any further than half a mile, sir, north of your tower. Why? Dangerous woods that way, pal. Bobcats, bears, incest. Nasty business. See, I said that. All right, see you around. Thanks, dude. Never talking to you again. I thought he was trying to scare me, but he was being dead serious. Yeah, that's fun. I do not want to jump scare like that ever again. So we really don't get anyone to walk with us, just us. No bikes, only horses. Stay on the trail. I left my bag in the RV at first. Yeah, why? Can I go get it? It wasn't letting me leave with it. I don't know if that was the issue. Holy shit, dude. Oh, okay, I gotta go get it. That would make sense. It's not letting me go any further, so let's go get the bag. Let's get to this place. Should be able to throw it on our backs. I'm sure the bathroom thing is still flipping closed. Still jammed. Interesting. Okay, we can take both. Thank God. All right. Been doing a couple prayers before I got here, so hopefully we're good to go. 11.32 p.m. Okay, here it is. It was a long hike. It was starting to get cold now. It is a ch cold, chilly night. My nipples have ripened into my vest. But it is a beautiful stream. It's right down to the Egyptian River. I don't know why I said that. Is that where I'm staying? No, that tower's tiny. Hello? I'm a small, handsome fella. I know someone would want to grab me. But you can't. It's my daddy's a lawyer, and he'll sue the shit out of you. Okay, this is the tower, so we don't want to go that way. I think, or, or else we'll die. We want to get up to this tower. Tower 11. Living in a fire tower is not a glamorous job. How would you not get paid more to do this? It's like an isolated job. Imagine being out here alone for weeks at a time. It's not for everyone. Yeah, it's not. But luckily, it's just me, myself, and I. I've always had a fondness for the outdoors. It is so beautiful. I ascend to the top of the stairs. To the tower. Ooh. Once you're on the top of the tower, your job is to look for fires or anything out of the ordinary. Okay. Kevin was filled with an a norma of wood, giving me the sense of comfort. Ooh, I love that woody smell. It's finally in my home for the next few months. Okay, can I put my bag somewhere? Let's throw it right there. There we go. Okay, can we turn on a light? Forgot to turn the generator on. How do we turn that on? It's probably a bunch of tasks and stuff. So we must follow these rules while occupying. Lights out uh, after... What does that say? 12 p.m.? It's kind of hard to read. Maybe I should turn on the light first. But he wanted me to log in. Oh, maybe I gotta go downstairs. Where's the generator? Is it downstairs? Yeah, let's go to the generator. Very spooky out here. Oh, there's another tower over there. That's cool. It's probably at the bottom up here. Won't be surprised if one of those freaking staff come out and attack me. Here we go. Crank that puppy! We got a porta pot here? Oh, that's cool. I pee again? Door was open. Oh, I gotta shut it for... Oh, is this a hiding spot? That is freaky! Freaky deaky. Okay, and that's my wood over there. Nice. But he wanted us to clock in, so let's clock into the job. Let's get this rolling right now. Ooh. The city. Really can smell that fresh, oaky wood out in the distance. Can I turn on the light now? Yes, very nice. So I don't need this. So let's throw my flashlight here. Perfect. And let's, uh, can we read the rules now? 
So lights out after 12 p.m. Supply drops are handed out every Sunday. Absolutely no guests in the lookout. System password is Iron Bark. So that's the tower number. Refuel the generator routinely. Update this reporting software routinely. No video games in the system. I remember to call your sister station before you sleep. Okay, so Ironbark11 is our password. Let's get in there. Let's type it in. Holy shit. What the hell? Did I just... Okay, we're just logging in. Got a freaking dinosaur of a PC, kind of like mine. Never works. You didn't know, my this game has crashed three times since I played it. Ironbark11. What? Oh my god. I-R-O-N-B-A-R-K-11. There we go. Just typed it too fast, silly me. Silly, silly me. Wow, nice and fast. Okay, how do I clock in? Oh, there it's Smiley, your trusty virtual assistant, here to help you make the most out of your computer today. How can I make your day better? By shutting the fuck up. Click it and click, here's a random fact. Okay, I don't care. More random facts? Are you just gonna make me smile? Servicing report. Um. Dude, welcome to the state. Fuck! I can't do anything! You're static. New guy. I haven't gotten your name yet. What is it again? Uh, I'm Jack. Jackie Chan. I saw your light turn on. I gotta say, it's refreshing to see Tower 11 alive again. Oh, you were watching me, sir. Should I say you were watching? Isn't that the job? I've had to cover your area until you arrived. Oh, hey, thank Connors, you. Fire Tower 12. Well, hi, Connor. It's nice to meet Anyways, you, sir. What brings you to this towering paradise? You know, just looking for a change. What? What? Uh, I'm a transfer from Iron Horse. Comrade. I can see why Mitch picked you. Well, thank you. I'm really tired. <laughs> what? This conversation is you leading nowhere. Uh, no, I don't. Computer lit. The temperature is about to plummet. You don't want to sit through the storm shivering. Oh, thank you, Connor Hawkins. Kind of a nice man. So do I just not sign in? Okay, I guess I'll just get the fire going. Yeah, they didn't tell me to sign in, so... Okay. Well, I'm gonna take the flashlight, because I'm very deathly afraid. Wait, don't throw it. Please. So he... That's Tower 12, right? I think that's the only one I can see. What? Okay. Sorry, I don't mean to do that. Maybe I do have to log in quick. Or maybe I just do it here. There's no fire... Smoke. Did you light it up yet? No. The wood stove should be around the entrance. Get her lit. Yeah, I know. Oh, maybe I light it first. Dude, I'm gonna fucking start myself on fire. <laughs> Here we go, and we will uh, use it. Yes? Yes. I'm just gonna fucking start my thing on fire. I don't know what I'm doing. What do I say to him? There's, There's no firewood. Fire there must be plenty in the shack. That's all Marley did. Harley? Marley? Look out before you. Oh. Well, you probably liked her. Anyways, you better get that fire going. You don't want to sit through the storm. Okay. Gasoline must be in your cabin. Yeah, I did that already. You grab your supplies from the storage shack. All right, so I was trying to do... You stupid game, you stopped me from going down there. Okay, this is definitely not a fire hazard. I will just leave that, and the tower will not magically start on fire. Okay, let's go. Now we can go. Down to the shack. I don't feel good about going into here, but we will do it. All right, let's get some wood. So I am fucking cold, boy. All right, so uh, we just pick a bunch of these up. Now we place it on the stove. How does that work? There's more stuff down here. Okay, I think this is all I need. Dude, this is creepy. Why would anyone do this job? Okay, here we go. Hustle! It's wild wildebeest out here in Bigfoot, like that one burger man said. Let's go. Pop, 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 pop. Hey, Kana. Kana Hawkins, if that's your real name. All right, put it in there. Place in the stove. Yes. Okay, now we just need to light it up. Yes. Yes. Put it in there. Well, that's good. Just put it right by the fire. What a safe spot. And we're gonna go... Oh, uh, use. Crispy, baby. God, that's how you do it at fire safety. Ah, I see it. I see the smoke. Good. I'm glad you're spying on me. Nice to see Tower 11 alive again. Well, you've said that a hundred times. For the night yet? Nope. I haven't. They haven't given me a chance. Okay. Temperature. It is 69. Uh, wind speed is about a 
30,000 degrees. I have assisted zero. Perfect. Reported by Jack Nelson. AK. Okay. I'm gonna say Danger Nelson. There we go. Somebody didn't look right. What do you mean? Probably gotta get this accurate, don't I? Okay, where can I check? Oh, the temperature's right there. Okay. What does it say? 45.9. Okay, I gotta be accurate, of course. 45. 45.9. And I need to find the wind speed. Is it saying here? What is that beeping noise? Can I turn this off? No, let me get to it. You don't want to yeah, I know. My God, you're pissing me off. All right, so where? Oh, it's right here. I see. Okay, guys, we're getting used to this. I'm sorry. How many knots is this puppy? It's about 19 knots outside. A lot of knots going on. I can feel it right in the crevice of my cheeks. Okay, 19 knots. Got it. Finally. Oh my gosh, I suck at this job. About 19 knots. That's a bit, uh, I would say cloudy. Wasn't sure if I put in the white. Oh my god. Yeah, I... Okay, right weather conditions, of course. What is it? Windy as shit, I don't know. God. What else do I need to know? Beautiful music. What would be the right weather conditions? It's kind of... Oh. Measure weather conditions with the provided equipment and log the accurate. I mean, it's kind of... There's wind. I'm just gonna guess. Missed. Nope. Clear. There we go. Okay! God, that was hard. You copy, new guy? Yep, I do. Tower 11 copy. I'm gonna sign off for the day. Okay. Tower 12, signing off. You have a good night, new guy. Hey, thank you. You too as well. Maybe we can cuddle one of these Don't nights. Bite. Ooh, well, I'm gonna bite you. Good night, Connor. Talk to you tomorrow. Beautiful. So do I just check out now? Shut the door. I think that was all I needed to do. Can I cook up a nice little meal? What can I do in this tower? Yeah, I got a fridge here. So I don't know if I gotta keep track of uh, my um, perfect. We're just gonna cook that puppy up. Can I eat this? What do I eat? I don't know, man. Let's just go to bed. I don't know if I have to like take care of myself by eating and stuff, but this game's been interesting so far. I like it. It's definitely different. Oh, shit. You never want to wake up at 3 a.m. Unintangible. Hearing some buzzarding. Oh, God, I'm a little bit hazy. Oh, God! What is it? Let's check. Hello? I have to fucking pee, are you serious? I gotta pee every goddamn second. Let's turn on the light. Ah, uh, where's my flashlight? God, I threw all my shit everywhere. Okay. Oh! Okay, let's go take a potty. Can we see anything? My first night being out of the cabin gave me a strange feeling. What do you mean? Well, I can pee here. Oh. Let's give it a pee. Nature suck on my piss. Woo! I'm not going down there. Are you kidding me? That would be scary. I'm gonna just pee right off the rail. Yeah. God, that's what I'd be doing all day, every day. I'm not going down there. Are you kidding? Fuck that! Yeah, let's turn off the lights. We're fine. Good. We're good. We're good. Can I? Can I talk? Let's see what I can. Just some static. Connor. Hmm, interesting. Is that what woke me up or just my massive piss I was holding? Weird, weird, weird. Jack Nelson, I, uh, for my vibes, he's just a little on edge. Night two. Okay, here we go. Ooh. You know, it's just, it's just you and the wind just makes you melt away, you know? <laughs> Got a glass right here. Crisp. God, every time I have a morning coffee, I have the worst evocation. Good morning, Santiago. Oh, we gotta take a photo, you know what it is. Let's take a selfie. What should I take a photo of? God, I'm a photographer at heart. Let's take another sip. 
Ah, uh, nothing better than a morning Joe. Just go right down the gullet. Imagine having this view, though, honestly, guys. It'd be the best. Let's take another photo. Why not? Nice little Lake Superior right here. We can scroll in. Oh, that's creepy. We can zoom in on anything. Let's take a photo of the tower. Boom. Beautiful, beautiful morning. We still got more coffee to go. More coffee, Joe. All right, let's get off. Got a job to do. Can I throw this? All right, suck it, nature. I threw it off the tower. That's right. I did. Fuck nature. Oh! You copy? Yeah, did you see me throw that? This is Connor from Tower 12. Do you copy? All right, let me... Give me a second. My goodness, I just got up. Tower 11. Do you copy? Yep, I'm... Copy that, Turn Connor. Off, bitch. What? Nobody bothers to get a camping permit these days anymore. Jesus Christ. Do you have eyes on the smoke north of your position? Oh, uh, yeah, let me take a look. Eyes on the smoke. Okay, do I have uh, binoculars or something? Or, oh, here we go. Here we go. He said north? Oh, I see it, Connor. Smoke was white. Okay. Yeah, that's definitely a campfire. I see it. Okay. What do I do? Should I take a photo of it? Yes, I see it. Okay. Oh, my God. Give me, like, three seconds. Okay. Yep, yep, I'm here. that white smoke up north? Yep, I see it. Appears to be in the lazy trail sector. Yep. Which is not a registered campsite. Ooh, Connor, you're pissed. People like that don't bother to clean up after themselves. No, they don't. The fire risks are high this season. I know. Smokey the Bear says high fire is coming. Mind checking it out? Yeah, I got it. Um. Okay, North, I'll report back. Uh, yes, do you have any other details? No additional information at the moment. Okay. Just follow lazy trail. Keep an eye out for any signs of a campfire or any potential hazards along the way. Okay, I'll head Stay north. Safe out there. I got gotcha. Don't forget to carry your bear spray in these woods, new guy. Okay, I will. Over and out. Over and out, baby. Thank you. God, you make me feel safe. Where's my bear spray? I'm gonna take this. Where the hell's the bear spray? Probably in here somewhere. I don't know if I need a that yet. Bear spray. I got some wine though, which is nice and delicate. Bear spray? Oh, I got it. Okay. Should I take the compass as well? Yeah, I guess just the bear spray. So, yeah, this is definitely it. So we gotta take Lacey Trail, he said. This should be interesting. Here's to see what happens next, but here we go. Just follow the smoke or down Lacey Trail. Got the bear spray, we're good. Into the woods now for the first time. Are you guys ready? Are you excited? Smash like. Leave a like down below. Wait, leave a comment down below. Here we go, Lacey Trail, right here. Yes, Lacey Trail this way. It's a three mile hike, are you shitting me? I'm sure I'm gonna get jump scared by a bear. Caution, bears in area. Well, fucking great, dude. Now I wanna get mauled by a bear. I didn't even take a flashlight, that took me all day? You're kidding, I followed the trail that led me to the smoke, this should be fun. And I did not take a flashlight, cause I'm a f Are you kidding me? No, 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 no. Under no circumstances should I be here. Yeah, it literally says no camping. <gasps> I love Jan, me too. Hello? Oh, I haven't even read any of these. Yeah, I'm okay, baby. Just re- Fucking A. Ah! Someone in here? I hear whistling. Hello? But I can take his flashlight. Someone down here? What's this? Oh! What do I do? Okay, so I just, I'm at the campsite. Can I stop it? I had to put it out with what? With fucking what? With water here? My hands are full. Okay, put it out. I had, oh my God, I have to, Luckily, there's a nice stream here. <sighs> Just gonna put out your fire, sir. I don't know if you get, you're dead or not. Sorry, sir. He's gonna be really mad at me. Okay, we gotta do it a little bit more again. Come on, another bucket. Is that it? I think I put it out. Okay, where's my bear spray? Bear spray? Hello? Okay, I think I just leave. What else do I have to look at? I don't get it. 
Sir, you can't be putting a fire out here. Smokey the Bear is going to be quite pissed at you. Okay, I'm leaving. I'm done. I don't know what to do here. Shit, dude. This is so sketchy. Ah! Sorry. Okay, just go, just go, just go. Dude, I'll fucking tranquilize you. Definitely not back. As I hiked back to the tower through the dark, I could shake the sense that something was terribly wrong. My mind couldn't help but think that what might have happened. Yeah, we heard a scream of a grown man. He sounded like he was in a lot of pain. Oh, I do not like this. What do you guys think? Do you like it? Are we okay? Wait, where's my tower? Yes, okay, we're, we're closer now. Run, 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 run! Get to the tower before we die. Fuck off, nature. I hate you. I don't, do I have to get more wood? I feel like, why can't I take up more than one stack at a time? Okay, I'm glad I made it back. Would have been really smart to bring the flashlight as well. I don't know why I can't carry two things. Oh, God, Connor, thanks a lot, dude. That was way closer to you. Okay. Connor! What's up, Connor? Connor, do you copy? 12. Hey, Connor! Loud and clear, new guy. I was just cooking myself some hot... Well, first, what's your status? Yeah, thank you. I don't care about your ramen. Are you kidding me? God, he has a lot of anger issues. Son of a bitch. Okay. <laughs> Sorry! They never learn, do they? Uh, uh what do you mean? I'm sick of these bastards. It's unbelievable. Has this been happening a lot, Connor? This month alone. Oh, God, you need a CBD oil. Anything else you notice in those woods? You know, I heard a scream. A scream? Must have been one of those red foxes. They sound pretty much like a screaming lady at night. It's, it's pretty manly. I mean, I've, I've heard these screams many times in my house. I don't know what you're talking about, new guy. But I heard from the rangers that a lot of campers have been flocking to that area lately because of the disappearance of those three kids. Kids went missing? Well, we kind of knew that. About a month ago. They were hiking with their families. They went off the trail and... Oh my god, what happened? We don't know. Their parents said some whistle led them off the trail. It's unbelievable. Jeez. Yeah, they probably were lured in. Spreading rumors that the area might be haunted by some entities. I believe it. It's crazy, I know. You would think these rumors would scare people off, but apparently it's been the opposite. Well, you kind of are scaring me off right now. I only wish they were true. Why? Well, at least now you know why Mitch had to staff Tower 11. Urgent. I mean, I'm glad to be of service. I'm not going to be a pussy. Great. Anyways, thanks for staying vigilant. You're welcome. I got to contact the authorities so they can take care of this commotion. For I gotcha. We can't tolerate these goons anymore. No, we can't, Connor. <laughs> I agree. Fine. I'll personally make sure they never set foot in this forest again. Okay, that's... Okay. I'll keep, keep me updated. Will do. Over and out. Over and out, big boy. Can't wait to squeeze you when I get over there. All right. Do I just go to bed now? Do I eat? Never really lets me eat anything. I, unless I'm supposed to. Can I microwave this? I have so many messages I haven't even read. Looking at that photo makes my stomach growl. As a matter of fact, let me try that recipe now. Hey, they want me to make this, I'm guessing. Okay, what do we need? Is that what it wants? Let's see if we can go to bed first. It's too hungry to go to bed without food. Okay, so let's read. There's so much to read in this, but we should probably read it. Okay, new regional manager is such a jerk. Honestly, sometimes I wish I had a job like you. Waking up with nature away from people and just getting paid to watch the wind go by. Wish my job was really that easy, Kay. I'm honestly done with this job. I'm pretty sure joining the next season. Hee <laughs> hee. Like I said, you're always welcome here. Let me know if you need me to talk to Josh. It's definitely time for a change. Speaking of change, what is this? Ironbark? They're staffing me next month. The one after Rosenberg? Yeah, I heard they got bigger staff cabins and less campers. Call me. With that, I'll call you back. How's it looking? Still on my way. Van decided. Okay, so this is kind of what happened. And now we're on to the recipes. We got this. Pizza bake. We have ingredients. Uncooked pasta. So instructions. Place all ingredients in the casserole. So how do we do that? Oh, we need this. Okay. Get this here. At this point, I was starving. Yeah, I know you're starving. Let me try to make something. Well, actually, maybe... Maybe I need to start the fire? I don't know. Let's go down the stairs first. Oh, wait. We got to do our things that night, too. So let's go check the knots. I haven't... Dude, I am a fire scout. I haven't even been checking this. Okay, so we're at 20 knots today. Sounds good. Let's put it right there. 20 knots. What's the temperature? 49.8. Gotcha. 
Let's get in here. Do some servicing report. So 49.8. Um, the wind speed was 20, I think? It's kind of cloudy and we assisted zero again. And our name this time is Nipple Juice. There we go. Submit. Perfect! There we are, Nipple Juicy. So they're... <laughs> I'm so immature. Okay, good. That's good. Now, let's go get some firewood and we will continue with this because I think we need the wood. I'd assume we probably need it every single night. My young Mal, age 32. Got my whole life ahead of me. Actually, I think I'm 24. I'm sorry. Misinformation. Excuse me, baby. Sucking on a bit like, ooh. Wait. What? What? Do you hear that? Whoa. That was that whistle. Oh, screw that. That was the whistle they were talking about. Where it's like, hee hoo. I can't whistle, so that's why I had to do it. But that whistle, that's where the boys followed it. And they must have thought it was some sort of like... You know how you hunt a turkey and you give it a call, you pretend to be a female? It's kind of what they do to you. And you just pop around the corner and they pop you with a pistol. All right, it's gas. Perfect safety. Let's get it in there. Boom, chakalaka. We're gonna get this. Open it. Light it. Light it. Fire set. Excellent. Okay. Now I think we can start the food. How do I do that? Where's the cheese? Well, any good pasta needs some cheese. Now it works. I don't know why it didn't work before. Okay, what else? We need uncooked pasta. I don't think it would be in there, though. Check the cupboards. It's so bright in here, I can't even see. No, I can't use any of these. Uncooked pasta. Where would that be? It's baked beans, I don't need that. No, not there. Not some meat. Pepperoni, I think I need this, though. Put it in there. Perfect. I have to do it in the order it says. I don't think it matters. Marinara sauce. Dude, how do I... Okay. We're getting this. We're a chef. We can do this. Perfect. What else? Pepperoni marinara sauce. Diced tomatoes. Right here? Nope, that's a cola. Fucking A, this is hard. Here we go. Now we need the, uh, the pasta. Oh, right here. How could I not see that? And then we need... That is it. That is a pizza pasta bag. Thank you, Kyla. Let's place all ingredients into a casserole. We place in here. And then we bake at 420. Love that. And I don't think it lets us do that. So I think we're good to go. And we just wait for that. And yes, we left this place quite a mess. But it is good to go. And I think we said we were logging off, right? So now we just... Hey, ah! You there? Yes! Okay. Yes, give me a chance to respond. What's up? Come on. What's your sitch? Just reported their ass to the authorities. Oh, nice, dude. Good job. Hope they can track them down and give them peace of mind. I know. I, I wish I could have killed him. <laughs> Tell you what. I think I'm gonna hit the sack now. It sounds good. You want me to sing you a good night? I know it's been a tough day, but you're doing an excellent job up there. Thank you. Thank you, Conrad. Over and out. Over 12, signing off. Good night. Good night, Connor. Get off my line. Oh. God, piss me off. Scared the shit out of me. Food is finally done, thank goodness. I just remember the smell of fresh sizzling cheese. I like eating it in bed. Do we put it on a plate? Okay, I guess I'll just eat it in bed. Oh, it's my favorite. Delicious. Oh, they always make just the milkiest sounds you could possibly hear. God. Sounds like when you're digging for some dingleberries. I feel like someone is watching me. <laughs> Dude, to eat it any slower and just any more, like, susly. Can you please do that? It's already full. Oh, God, that was delicious. And gorgeous meal. Let's set this down. Where can I put it in here? Where do I place it? Oh, I just throw it. Oh, I'll keep it in the fridge. Okay. Sorry. Crouch and put. Perfect. Leave everything else out. Gotta leave this place nice and perfect. Okay, good night, everybody. Good, let's go to bed. I always close the boards outside before heading to bed. The boards? What do you mean the boards? Like these? Like the bottom stair boards? I don't even get what that means. These boards, right? 
Is it this? What is the boards? I don't fucking like this shit. Close the boards. They, they've never told me how to do this. Oh, I see. I can't reach that one. Let's get the boards closed. I see, yeah. We don't want anyone peeking in. Boom, boom. Boom, shaka laga laga laga. Perfect. We gotta go back. Do we see anything out in the distance? What? What? How did this open? No, I don't think that one shuts. There we go. Cap. Good to go. Jack Nelson style, baby. Let's get inside. Can we lock the door? Nah. Only that stays open. Boom! Let's go to bed. I'm tired of shit. Oh, yes. An elegant sleep for an elegant boy. Is that even a word? Elegant? I said elegant. 227. Oh! I was woken by some feeling that my... It caused my eyes to drift open. Whoa! No, you are trespassing, sir. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Where's, where's my light? Where's my light? Where's my light? Where's my light? I can't see! the gas. What the fuck do I do? Air spray. Fucking throw it. Stop throwing it. Air spray. Where is it? God, I threw all my shit on the ground. I can't see. Oh, right here, right here. Is anyone out there? Whoa! What the fuck is this? I don't know what to make of this. I don't know. It sounds like they're marking their territory. The only logical thing I could do was contact Connor. Connor! Run! Connor, 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 Connor! Holy shit, I'm about to shit myself. Connor, wake up! Connor, please! I need to talk to you. It's urgent. Hello? Connor, I'm sorry. Look, there's something outside my door. Dude, there's a fucking skull, you scumbag. You're a little piece of shit. Dude, I, what if it's not a prank? Dude, this is serious. People went missing and you're not taking this very seriously. Well, thanks a lot. For now, just lock your door, take a deep breath, and try to get some rest. We can't do much in the dark. And you appreciate it. You know it. Yeah, I bet it will be. Yeah, I'm out. Fuck you. If I get fondled in the ass, I'm gonna blame you. Connor didn't make any sense of it. <sighs> Keep them away at bay. Yeah, I love that. That's fun. Can I, how do I lock it? Yeah, it doesn't even give me the option. I love this. Dude, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm telling you. Well, I guess he survived, but... Okay, night three. Next day, I woke up not being sure if last night was real or just a dream. Connor tried to reason it was a harmless prank by some kids. There's something about that night that just felt darker. There's something strange happening in these woods. 8.34 p.m. All right, we skip right tonight. Lovely. Okay, so I'm on the lookout. Looks like they want me to look this way. I occupied most of my deeds either with simple maintenance or in and around the towers. Dude, this thing is dirty. Oh, I have to move it. I'm an idiot. <laughs> Make a lot of sense. Clean it off. I was gonna say, this thing is so bad. Much better. Let's get this nice and crisp. Whoa! You see that? It's a flare! Okay, we should report that, shouldn't we? Okay, I spot a flare in the distance. Someone needs some help. Okay, let's go. Come on. Get in. Throw that shit in the ground. Hello? Yep. Is anyone there? Wait, is that Connor? I need help. Please, someone answer. Oh, shit. Okay, I'm coming. This is Jack Nelson. Hello? Can anyone hear me? Yep, I hear you loud and clear. Oh, thank goodness. Uh, I'm lost, and I'm, I'm really starting to freak out. All right, what's going on? I, I don't even know where to start. I went out to explore the area and lost track of time. Okay. 
And, and now it's dark, and I can't remember the trail back to my truck. All right. I think, I think I'm lost. Okay, describe your clothing. Are you wearing Abercrombie? I'm wearing a red jacket, camo pants, and a green backpack. Interesting. Not Abercrombie at all. Do you know your current location? Uh, I'm in the middle of the woods, on this trail surrounded by trees. Everything looks different at night. Okay, you gave me nothing. Let's see what else we I can do. Shooting a few flare gun shots might get someone's attention, but no one's come yet. I saw all you. I light up the trees and make everything look even scarier. I just want to find a way out of here. Okay, what, what direction are you? I'm walking towards west right now, because I remember walking east when I came here. Okay, do you remember any landmarks, sir? I, I remember passing a small stream earlier. Oh, I think I was by that stream. Oh, thank goodness, I see it. What? What is it? I'm at a trail intersection now, but I can't remember if I should take the right trail or the left to get back to the trailhead. Can you help me? I think it's right, I don't fucking know. Should I give it the wrong way? Go right! I'm going to be honest. I had my suspicions on the left trail, but if you say so, right one it is. <laughs> I probably could be wrong. I couldn't have trusted myself with this decision. <laughs> Thanks for helping me through this. You're welcome. You know, they'll be gonna reach the trail out safely. What? I'm right here! What? I hear you. What do you mean? I hear your whistles. No, I'm in a tower what? right now. What? I see you behind the trees to my right. <laughs> That's freaky. That's not me. You're freaking me out. Whoa! Oh, you gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. Bear spray bear! Hit the fucking deck! <laughs> oh, I tried to spray him. <laughs> Holy moly, what took you so long? Wait, who are you? Oh, you're the guy that jump scared me. I've been knocking for hours. What? No, you haven't. I was asked to check in on you here. What uh, What are you up to? Um, I was assisting someone. At this hour? Hey, the Lord be merciful. What? You're suspicious. Anyways, got your tower supplies here. Just take the... Just the usual essentials. Good, my butt plug. Thank you. <laughs> here you go. I feel like I'm going to pass out if I keep holding this for more than one second. Thank you, sir. Okay, this is awkward. What were you doing there last night? What? Up north. Why were you up there? Dude, he is in on this. I wouldn't screw around out there, pal. I was required to investigate. Oh, you know the campfire smoke? Oh, Lord have mercy. <laughs> this dude. This dude. Nasty business up there, pal. Bobcats and bears. Be careful out there, pal. These woods aren't normal, and there's stuff out there that would love to get a piece of you. I might get a piece of you. Not to mention, you'd be quite a distance from help if anything happened. You know, I've got enough to keep me occupied, okay? Get out of here. Absolutely, it's a busy job. Okay. Awkward. I've been hearing you've been a little on edge. Everything okay? Yeah, there's a skull. Okay. Oh, Lord, I miss. <laughs> Oh, this dude is no help. Lord have mercy. Did you take a photo of it? Oh, I didn't clean it up. I didn't think about it. Damn it. You know, it's been best we don't dwell on these things. Pal, besides, we can't do anything without the evidence. Yeah, and it's gone too, which is weird. Anyways, it's getting late. I better get going. Just keep watch. Thanks for the supplies, Captain. Let me bear spray you. Where's my bear spray? All right, never mind. He's already gone. There's no point anymore. Dude, that was crazy. Is this my supplies? Do I just put it here? Probably the best spot. Can I even look in it? Guess not. Okay, I love it. It's too hungry to go to bed without food. Well, do I have another recipe? I do not. Maybe I gotta start another fire? I don't know. It seems like you always gotta start a fire here. I don't know what to make tonight. What's on the menu tonight? I can't open the supply box. Interesting. Okay. Oh, dude, I always forget to do this at night. That's like, I'm so stupid. Okay, let's get this. Always got to do this right away. So we got 27. 27 knots, is that what it said? 27. Oh, yeah, okay. Sorry, jeez, you're a very paranoid boy. Okay, let's do... That was 27, it said? 27. I don't know what the temperature is. 57.9. 57.9 degrees. 
Cloudy, we assisted no one. Weather conditions. It's very windy. There we go. Perfect. Nipple juicy again with the clutch. Okay, we're p that's been submitted. Now what else do we gotta do? We gotta, we're hungry, right? I think I was too hungry. Yeah, we gotta go to bed. Wait, that's, what did that say? Hide? That wasn't an option before. Oh, maybe we can eat the leftovers. Yes, 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 yes. I bet it's quite cold. Can we put it in the microwave? Let's get it rolling. Yeah, I'm fucking hungry as shit. I'm gonna close all my things before I go. Get this shot, because we know we're gonna have to do it. Get around while that's microwaved up. And oh, there's my bear spray. Get that inside. Keep this all shut. Not about to have to go out here again. Boom, boom, we're good. All right. Love these woods. Let's get in here. And we're good. Perfect, let's eat. I like eating in my bed. Love dripping that freaking marinara down my chest. God, that is just a delicious meal. It is pretty cozy in here. God, I could eat one of those right now. I'm starving. I might have some ramen after this. Just to get some noodles in my belly. Mwah! God, that's delicious. I'm all done with that. Woo! God, it's nice. I'm, I'm kind of a pig, I won't lie, but feels good. Can we go to bed now? Oh, it's getting cold. I'd like to a stove lit fire. Okay, bear spray. Flashlight. Wait, let's leave this, because I think there's a bear spray down there. Okay, let's go. Get some firewood. It's gonna be a toasty night. Here we go. Getting a bit cold. Need to stay warm at night. I don't have a nice little Connor over here to fondle me up and make me feel nice and tender. Juicy good. Not that good. Ah! Oh nope. Nope. I'm not playing. I'm not. Who the fuck are you? No need to be alarmed. I'm a worker. I was just doing some routine maintenance on the radio tower over there. Why couldn't you have been like, hey, a bald-headed little fuck. I'm gonna... Let's say hi to the new guy everyone's been talking about. What's your name, bitch? <sighs> Names can be deceiving. Call me Silas Yellow. What? Yeah, do you usually work this late? Every Sunday, just trying to keep up with the communication lines open. Very cool. I do not trust you. <clears throat> Is he the guy from the diner? I swear to God, he's the guy from the diner. We must ensure that the right message reached the right places. Wouldn't you agree? Um, I don't know what that means. I agree. Absolutely, but some fires are meant to burn, and no amount of prevention can stop them. What do you mean? Nature has its own plans. Some things can't be controlled no matter how hard we try. And sometimes disasters are just another form of cleansing, a way for the land to purify itself. You know, I'll just I'll see you around, Silas. Have a good night, Jack. Hope you sleep well, but remember, curiosity can lead to places you'd rather not go. Farewell. I don't... Did I tell you my name? What the... F Never again! Yeah, thank you for letting me sprint for once. Okay. I need a gun. Probably the strongest rifle you have out here. Oh my god, that one was bad. <sighs> Dude, I'm gonna have a heart attack one of these days. Okay. Good to go. Yep, love it. Boom, chugalaka. Oh, shit, dude. Okay, can I talk to him? Smoke coming out of your tower. Don't tell me you're not in there. Dude, I'm in there. I'm good. New guy. You there? Oh my god, man. You're so annoying. Yep. You copy now. Yeah, this is Jack. Finally. I've been trying to reach you for a while now. Where have you been? Yeah, I ran into a Silas downstairs. You know him? Ran into who? Uh, the guy maintaining the nearby tower radio. He doesn't know him. <sighs> is this about yesterday? What? You trying to yank my chain now? What do you mean? That radio tower has been out of service for ages now. I'm gonna shit myself. I'm gonna shit myself. That gives me the chills, dude. It was closed down years ago after a lightning strike <laughs> systems. Its repair cost was deemed too 
costly. So you're telling me Silas is going to come up here and choke me. Its repair date was postponed until the next big funding. No time soon, according to Mitch. Who cares? Who did I talk to? Look, if what you're saying is true, it could be another one of those goons playing pranks on you. And you don't care? That's not concerning? He knew my name, Connor. You knew your name? You think he's been listening? Possibly. Either way, disguising as a staff member according to park guidelines. Cool. No one... He doesn't care. I think he gives a Next shit. Time you see him, get his information or take a photo. We need to figure this out. All right. Anyway, Sounds good. I'm seeing that you've already reported. I think I'm going to hit the sack now. Yeah, me too. Fuck off. You are no help. I cannot believe how seri not seriously you're taking this. Did I do my report? I think I did. Oh, I don't like it. I do not like this. Silas is coming for me tonight. My unease was starting to grow with each passing day. So when I signed out that night, I told myself it was just a change of environment that I needed getting used to. The strangest I've seen from far in these woods was not enough to cause an alarm yet. However, that would change soon. Two nights later. Oh, here we go. Here we go. This is going to be at 9.18 p.m. So it's not 3 a.m. at least. It's not late enough. Oh, you got a minute? I'm listening. Well, good news. Got a new system update on the computer. Yes! I love it. They just wanted me to let you know. They say it's an important security update. Okay. No more snoopers, I guess. Well, that'll be nice. <laughs> Thanks for letting me know. Ah, I'm out. Uh, how do I update well, it? to be honest with you, all this new technology, it's not really my thing. That's great. You're not going to tell me. There I say it. These computers are probably going to take all our jobs one day. Oh, well, that'd probably be a good thing. Anyways, for now, use the console to run the new system. Okay. I'm sure a young man like you can figure it out. Yep, I'm on it. God, you are no help. How do I update this? Console, okay. So we go here. And then ready to wield some digital music. Press help in the command list. Okay. So we have check for available. So check. Update. Is that it? Three updates found. Okay. Check for current version. Install. Oh, update. Okay. Please enter the update code. Well, what is that? Oh, uh, update 4346084. that it? Package found. Okay, well, we're doing pretty good. Okay, please enter the active line. Okay, 1045. I don't know which one it is. 5987. Which one is active? 5487. That one good? There we go. Updated. Thank you. Perfect. Whoa. Yeah, not on my to-do list, the power going out. Are you kidding me? Great, dude. I think my generator went out. Yep. Perfect timing. Okay, flashlight on. Bear spray? No, I don't need the knots. Get rid of that. Bear spray, where is it? All right, guess I have no bear spray tonight. Always love to use that when I'm in danger. Okay. Let's go to the generator. Power this puppy up. Hello, Silas. What, it ran out of gas? Oh my God, you gotta be kidding me. I got drenched in the rain, you're fine, dude. How do I power this puppy up? Just use it in here? How do I, okay. I guess we'll just go to the generator. Put some gas in this thing, I don't know. There we go. God, I'm a pro, baby. I think it's good now. Just leave that there. It should be safe. I had to pee really quick. Okay. Let's go potty. Oh! Oh, it's fine. Oh, God. It's the most satisfying pee of my life. God, I've been holding this for ages. Love how the microphone... Oh, my God. If I barely talk, my... Oh, we're good. Little potty didn't do anyone bad. I swear to God, I just saw someone there. Or is that just my eyes? No, it's the bush. Okay. Okay, get up as fast as you can. Okay. Jeez, man. Jeez. Doesn't help when I'm a hungry boy. We're feeling ravenous right now. Time was flying by. Connor's generator, generator was under maintenance, which meant I had to cover his area for the past few days. When there was no fire going, the only thing I'll, I'd do is check on Connor twice a day. Then it might have been the only time I ever talked. Unless... Talking to myself. 
2.34 a.m. Oh my god, here we go. Shot. What? I know it's late, but you're gonna want to see this one, Jack. Well, you got pissed when I called you. Jack. Jack. I'm coming. You copy? <laughs> this guy, dude, he'd come in and be like, "What the fuck is shit?" That's what he'd be like. Yep, I'm coming, dog. What's up? Jack. You copy? Yes, right here, okay, Connor. Tell you what. I don't have the energy to do this right now. What happened? I've been here busting my ass, working on that old piece of garbage generator. Okay. And now I'm seeing this. What? I'm seeing more smoke to my west. Looks like we got another camper. Well, that's great. I'm not investigating. It appears to be in your sector. You see the campsite from your end? Uh, I'll take a look. Here we fucking go. Ma, I need binoculars and a flashlight. Okay. What? What? You know what? What? I don't have it in the over, but if things get worse, don't hesitate to call HQ for help. Are you going to I'm bed? Tomorrow morning. I'm gonna get some rest. What? Why is it always me? You gotta be kidding me, man. Oh, I see it. Okay, let me throw this quick. Yeah, I see the smoke. Let's take a look. What the hell is... Th is that the Ku Klux Klan? I didn't know what to make of it. Yeah, I don't know either. Only thing that made sense was t time to take the evidence. Okay. We need a camera. Go, 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 go. My lights. Where's my lights? Camera, where is it? Um. Ah, la, 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 Time is of the essence. Dude, there is no camera in sight. There's literally no camera. Like, do I just zoom in on them? I don't even know. Oh, press space to take a photo. Okay. Dude, they are 100% burning someone alive. Oh, okay. Here we go. Okay. I got eyes on them. Ku Klux Klan. Smile for the camera. <gasps> whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. What? They're burning someone alive! And they're gone now? No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm good. I'm gonna throw that right there. And I'm- <gasps> Whoa! How did that motherfucker get over here already? Whoa! I'm not up here! Oh fuck, I just dropped my flashlight! I threw it over the tower. Oh yeah, I know that. Um, I can't see though. Bear spray! Did I fall asleep? Oh my god. my leg on my desk. Spray. Light. These are the essentials to take out a Ku Klux Klan member. I will sneak out ever so silently. You will not even know I was here. Very diligent with our movement. Oh! I dropped the bear spray! Run! 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 Run!
run! Come on, we can do this! I'm out of here. I'm not gonna be a sacrifice like that one man was in the burning table. Go, 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 go! I am gonna run home right now! Oh my god. I cannot believe I peed in there. <laughs> I love how it gave me the option to take a piss. Well, when I get excited, I just have a little tinkle in my wiener. I can't see. Run! Run! Doctor, are you here? It was locked! Run! How did you find me? My RV! Please! Please! I wanna leave! I wanna live! Shut the door! The adrenaline kicked in. I hit the gas and drove to the nearest ranger cabin. Out of breath, I radioed in the alert to HQ. Did I live? Look, Jack, we get a little stir crazy out here, Mitch answered. They didn't believe me again? What is wrong with them? Next morning, authorities allegedly ran in a small investigation in the area, but of course, they met with no signs of misconduct. No one ever believed my story, dismissing it as a product of isolation. Just stick to looking off of fires, Mitch offered. However, that was the last time I ever set foot in those woods. The east still sits heavily in my stomach. Even though many years have passed, the experience still feels vivid in my memory. My family thought I was making the whole thing up, which really out of my character. But I know what I saw. Real or not, after dark, these woods will become a haven for illegal activities. So if any of you plan on going camping soon, please be safe. Thank you. Jack Nelson. Jack Nelson is an advocate for safe camping, and I can appreciate that. Wow. Is that it? We made it. Survivor through the fourth episode. We're always a survivor. Guys, I hope you guys enjoyed. This was Fears to Fathom, episode four. I really enjoyed playing that. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it as well. I'm sorry if I skipped through a lot of stuff. I, I tend to speed run these things, but really hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. And if you want to see something next, hit subscribe. And yeah, I'll see you guys all in the next video. Peace out.